More than 60 million retired Americans depend on Social Security as a source of income. But starting in 2020, the program will begin paying out more in benefits than it's bringing in. Here's what that could mean for retirees in the future. The bulk of Social Security is funded through payroll taxes at a rate of 12.4%. Employees and employers each put 6.2% into the program, but employees are only taxed up to $127,200. So anything over that amount isn't subject to the payroll tax. Based on the current funding structure, by 2020, the $2.8 trillion in spare cash will begin to dwindle. Higher interest rates could help generate a bit more revenue from this excess cash, but it likely won't be enough to prevent the reserve fund from completely running out by 2034. Based on a 2016 Social Security trustee report, that would mean a 21% reduction of benefits. There's no quick fix to the Social Security surplus shortfall. Senator Bernie Sanders favors applying the 6.2% payroll tax to income above $250,000, while some Republicans propose raising the full retirement age to 69. Meanwhile, the Center for Budget and Policy Priorities says raising both the payroll tax cap and tax rate would help ensure benefits were available for future generations. For more retirement news, visit GoBankingRates.com.